Hello everyone, this is my 39th video in react series. In our previous video, we have seen how to pass array of objects, how to pass array data inside used it. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to handle objects and also how to use spread operator. Okay, here you can see I'm having this names. Okay, Khanam, Seema and Rhea. When I click on this button, it's passing empty array. So all the data will be cleared. Now here you can see I'm having this code and inside this inside this use state i'm just giving this empty array so all the data will be cleared whenever i click on the button okay here you can see whenever i click on the button i'll be redirected to this function and here i'm just giving empty array which means that whatever data i'm having as the initial data that is going to be emptied and i'll be getting here i will be getting this output i'll just refresh this now you can see i'll be getting this output now we will see how to pass objects now from here i'm just going to remove this entire thing and also i'll be removing this this function also I'll just remove and also I'm just going to remove this entire thing. I'll save this and now if I show you the output you can see I don't have anything. Now we will see how to pass objects, how to handle objects okay inside use state. Now here I'll just create use state. I'll just give this text and I'll be giving here set text. Here I'm just going to write this use state and inside this uh, let me just give here hello. Now this whatever value I'm having that will be the initial data for this variable. I'm just going to print that one. I'll just write here text. I'll save this. Now if I show you the output, you can see I'm getting here hello. Now if I change here something, hello, good evening. I'll save this and now you can see here I'll be getting here hello evening. Okay, here from here I don't have to change anything. I Whatever I change here, that will be the initial data for this variable. Okay, now we have already seen this one, how to pass values and also in our previous tutorial, we have seen how to pass arrays and also how to pass arrays of object data. Now in this, we are going to see how to handle objects. Now inside this, I'm just going to create object. Objects will always close in curly braces and it will have key value pairs. Here, I'm just going to give one key name. I'll just give my name. I'll just separate using comma and here I'll just give here place place i'm just going to give here mumbai and also i'm just going to give one more thing i'll just give her language language i'm just going to give her react okay that is nothing but programming languages now inside this use state i'm just passing one object and inside this i'm having this name place and language as its properties and here i'm having this values now here if i directly pass this text here i'll just refresh this one Okay, now you can see I'll be getting this error. Okay, I, I just can't write like this because now text is an object to access any property, any value inside this one. We have to use dot here. I'm just going to give dot. I want name. I'll just give her name. Now you can see here I'll be getting Khanam as my output. Again, if I want place, I'll just paste this two times here. I'm just going to write here place and here I'll just write language. I'll save this and now you can see I'll be getting all the output here. Okay, I just can't write text here for objects. We have to access like this. Only then we will be getting an output. Okay, now this text is having the initial data as an object. Now if I want, now if I want to update this one, here I'll just create one button. And for this button, I'll just give here on click. I'm just going to give here on click and I want to update this data. I'll just give my function name as update data. I'll copy this function and here I'll be defining that function const. I'll just paste that function and inside this function, okay, I have to update this data. So I have to copy this one and here I'll be pasting that one. Now, instead of this, okay, I'll, I'll just write one value. I'll be writing here. Uh, I'll just write here Seema. I'll save this. I'll just refresh this one. Okay, here I'm having this button. Inside this button, I'll just give some text. I'll be giving here click me. And also I'll just add some bootstrap classes here class i'll be giving here btn btn dark i'll save this and now you can see i'm having here button okay i'm just going to wrap inside one container i'll just copy this and here i'll be closing my div i'll save this and now here you can see i'm having this button and here i'm having this text whenever i click on this button i'm calling this function and inside this function i'm just updating this particular data now, if I click on this button, you can see everything will be erased because 
here inside this inside this use state the initial data is our object but here i am passing here string okay so that data is not going to match and whatever data i am having that everything will be erased and i will not be having any output okay so to update this one here also i have to pass object here i am just going to create object and just copy this entire thing and here i'll be pasting that one now instead of khanam i'll just give here seema i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now when i click on this you can see it has been changed to seema now if i don't give this one okay this place and language i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now when i click on this you can see whatever data i am having here that is place and language that is going to be erased and whatever value i am updating only that will be displayed to me okay this both the data will be erased and only name field i'll be having because whenever i want to update whatever fields and whatever data i am having here the exact same thing i have to pass and i have to update that one i'll just do control z now i'm having here place and uh, language i'll just give here language as javascript i'll save this i'll just refresh once now you can see i'm having here khanam mumbai and react now when i click on this you can see this and this is being changed suppose if i don't give here mumbai that is place i'll just remove i'll save this now here i am having here mumbai okay i'll as soon as i refresh when i click on this you can see mumbai i don't have but if i give mumbai here and if i click on this button that data will be available for me you can see mumbai is also available okay so to handle this one suppose maybe in future i want to update only name i don't want to update this two particular fields and also i don't want to write that one when i am updating okay I'm, i just want to update this name i don't want this particular fields so for that now we are going to use spread operator okay whatever we want to update only that particular variable we have to write that particular value we have to write and rest everything will be handled by our spread operator spread operator uh, if i just show you an example of spread operator here i'll just create one array i'll give my uh, variable name as data1 and inside this i'm just going to pass some values here i'll just give the colors i'll just give here orange and inside this array to i'll just create one more variable data2 and inside this i'm going to pass another values i'll just give here yellow and also i'm just going to give here one more value that is purple now inside this array const i'll just write here const data3 i want both this values okay both the data whatever i'm having here both the values now inside this data3 whatever values i am having inside data1 and data2 i want to store that inside this data3 so for that we are going to use this spread operator spread operator i am just going to write this three dots and this variable name i'll copy this and here i'll be pasting that one i'll separate using comma three dots and this variable name i'll save this and also i'm just going to do console console dot log and inside this i'll just pass here data3 i'll save this and now if i just inspect this one now inside console you can see here i'm having this array 4 and okay all the values whatever i am having inside array 1 and array 2 that is being stored inside array 3 that is nothing but data 3 okay using spread operator we can access all these values whatever we are having inside this particular variables and we can store in that separate variables now here if i want to add some more data i can just add here white and also i can add here black okay i can add as many as data i need i'll save this i'll just separate using comma i'll save this and now if i just show you in my console you can see here i'll be having all the six data blue orange white black yellow and purple okay this is how spread operator is useful we can add extra data and also we can get some other data of arrays i am just going to reduce i'm just going to comment this one and this spread operator we can also use in objects now here whenever i click on this button i'm calling this function and inside this function i just want to update the name okay here i'm just going to remove this entire thing now this text is having all the initial data that is nothing but my object i'll just copy this text and here i'll be writing three dots i'll just paste that one and here i want to update name i'll copy this and here i'll be pasting that one name i'm just going to give here seema i'll save this i'm just going to come data 3 is not defined i'll just comment this one now if i show you the output now when i click on this you can see all the data is also here and also i am getting this updated data for khanam 
okay this is how we are going to use spread operator now this data this text whatever data i am having here that is place and language that will be stored inside this and only name i am updating so i am writing here name now if i want to update language here i can write language and here i am just going to give bangalore i'll save this now if i don't write place then also no issues here that will be stored okay i'm having this error i'll just refresh this one language okay i'll just write here colon i'll save this i'll just refresh once now when i click on this you can see mumbai is also available and seema and bangalore okay this is being changed okay this is how we are going to update the data of our objects and we will be passing objects as the initial data inside use state and we are going to update like this okay instead of object if you pass string or numbers that is going to erase the entire data and we will not have any output but when we pass objects then it is going to work and without spread operator if we pass we have to pass entire fields whatever we are having here that we have to pass inside this only then it will work if i directly pass only name and language without giving spread operator this place whatever i am having here that will be erased and only language and name will be printed to me so this place if i want i am just giving that inside the spread operator and this is going to access all the data whatever i am having inside this now here whatever i want to update i am just updating that one okay this is how we are going to handle objects and also we will use spread operator inside objects Okay that's all for today's tutorial in our next tutorial we are going to start making our forms okay react forms thank you so much for listening have a great day